Hello, my name is Ed Scott. I am CEO of AxelApps.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate a few of the top features you should consider when purchasing a restaurant app. On our screen, from the home screen, is a slider here that you can slide through and you have access to engage your audience and your customers with beautiful pictures of people enjoying themselves or enjoying their food. Also, you should look for one touch calling here that should be native to the phone. GPS directions. Allow your current location and they can get directions. Also tell a friend feature that allows them to communicate by email, Facebook, Twitter, SMS message. One of the big features you should consider is a mobile menu ordering system where a person could order right from their phone, pay and check out. In this case, I'm going to consider buying some oh so good wings. We can configure this option to many complex products. In this case, I'm gonna choose 20 wings. I'm going to choose the option of blue cheese. Choose some upselling right within the app. Add some fries and some veggies. Pick the type of pick the style that I would like, and I'm going to go for some lemon pepper wings. Notice the prices out beside each of those options. If they are charged prices or not, and we can configure that. Add item to order. Confirm. Add to cart. I'm going to order one more item, just to give you an idea about how this works. I'm going to take a pizza in this case, because we can configure very complex configurations. Nice image of a pizza. Pick a size and this is a a la carte type of pizza and I have this configured to choose no more than seven options. So once a person hits eight options it's going to tell them sorry there's too many. Each time we add the option and added the price, add special instructions, preview the order, add to cart, let me go ahead and check out. There's your item total. We have dine in, take out, or delivery. You should look for that. There's a total. Notice I have a delivery charge of free because it's greater than $25. The person would either pay by cash, and we have PayPal, authorized.net, or Google checkout as payment options. They would enter the information, check out, and they would get a notice stating how long it's going to take for their order. Okay, so you want to consider all of these features in a restaurant app. Let's move on to the next item. We have a PDF menu here that you can just have a regular uh, printed version of your menu. Now, if you want to have a custom menu without the ordering, what we'll have is a custom menu like this, but it would not have prices. <laughs> so we can have the exact same thing here, but without the prices. Specials are another great way to engage your audience and we have this categorized by days of the week and then day parts. We can also have videos embedded right within the app. You can have your favorite server or your chef or your person who you want to do videos and just have them video. Next, let's take a look at events. In events, you have recurring and static events. And notice we have some coming up for next week. Okay, and we can build those right into your app. We can have images here or videos. We can have sign up forms. Really easy to do with events. And another great way to connect with your audience and your customers to give them an opportunity to come back and visit your app and stay tuned for what's going on. Messages. Oh, one other thing I need to mention about the events too is that when a person adds event, you see this little plus sign here, they can add the event and it goes right to their calendar. Very, very powerful feature. Messages. Uh, we use push notifications to uh, populate this tab and you will have access to do that. And if you were one of our customers, you wouldn't pay any extra for push notifications is all included in the package and you can send unlimited push notifications to people who have your app so imagine um, kicking off your app campaign and having your 
app downloads exceed a thousand or even two thousand or even ten thousand people who have your app sending out one message to those people for free a loyalty tab is another great way to connect with your audience what will happen here and your customers you would click on the uh, day or the item that you want to stamp when the person comes in the manager or whoever has the code would enter the secret code they would stamp this visit as approved once they re, uh, achieved the number of visits then they will get the freebie whether whether that is a free dessert or money off or the next buy one get one free I'm going to move on to the next tab and also you should consider a survey uh, customer survey within your app to allow your customers to indicate um, how their visit was so that you can improve your service and your customer engagement reservations will allow you to have your customers place reservations if they have big parties or you can use this for catering and we can add pricing options right within this tip calculator allows a person to um, enter the amount and divide it among the people at the table newsletter upon opening the app you would get an opportunity to sign up for your newsletter or your e-exclusive events for special offers and notices for those people who opt into your newsletter and we work with the major email autoresponder services a QR coupon to allow a person to scan a coupon that they may be sitting at the table we also have a GPS coupon. This will allow a person to just check in using their current location. Fan wall allows your customers to enter information right within the app about their visit or about a special or about a meal that they have. That's a great way for customer engagement. and we've already reviewed messages email photo this is a great way to build your social media stock of people enjoying your great food at your fantastic restaurant have them submit a photo and maybe you have a contest that you can announce the contest and have them submit a photo and they will receive a free dessert if their photo is chosen to be placed on Facebook we also have Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube integration. Goes right to Facebook. Of course, Twitter. YouTube. Okay, now for the final two tabs. The Around Us tab and Voice Notes. The Around Us tab will give you access for your different locations. So if you had locations across the town or around the corner, you can indicate those locations. And if you click on the pin drop, you will get access for info and directions. The final tab is the voice notes tab. Another great way for your customers to connect with your restaurant. They can simply record a note and send it to you. You can use that in your Facebook or right within your app. These are the features you should consider when purchasing a restaurant app. In today's technology, both large companies and small businesses can benefit by leveraging this new technology and is a great way to market to a new audience who's using the technology today. I thank you and give us an opportunity to build your app Give us a call at the numbers you see here on the screen or visit axelapps.com. Thanks.